Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java Coding Exercise Series 1, Swing JDBC Application. So today in this session, we are going to learn how to implement simple new user registration form, Swing Application integrated with JDBC and connected to Oracle Express Edition 11G database server. It's going to be a, an offline Swing graphical user interface application, which is accessing the Oracle database with the help of the JDBC driver connection. Now, let's take a look in, in detail. This session is going to be divided and used these phases. First, we need to have the backend programming and setup of Oracle database server. So we need the database of Oracle Express Edition 11G version, which is available on oracle.com site, which is free of web. Now, after installation, you need to just start get the connection of the database server and create a table to have a backend table structure available, storing user data into the table. That we are going to do with the help of the JDBC, Java Database Connection. For JDBC in detail, we have the JDBC course available. Now here, what we are going to do, we are going to connect to the database. Then we will insert the data from user. First, we get the value from the user and insert it into the table and then reading the data from the table. Now Swing will help you to give you an application, a graphical user interface. So we will create a frame and we will label it. We will have some text box like first name, last name, mobile number and all the values you want to get it from the user and the button to submit the information and alert box to get the verification to do the validation of the form. So in case like if a user entered the or missed to enter mobile number or some compulsory par, uh, values, then it will pop up the message says like you, uh, this particular text box cannot be empty, something like this. So you can pass some message with the help of the message box or alert box. Now IDE, we need to have a complete uh, uh, application support with the help of uh, an I kind of integrated development environment uh, that we are going to use it here as Eclipse and download installation and configuration that you can check it out our IDE course here you can get all the information now let's start with the swing JDBC application steps first we create the Java project in Eclipse download the installation Oracle Express edition 11g database server create the table to have a structure next step connect oracle database using jdbc type for pure java driver and get values from the user and insert into database implement swing graphical user interface frame and execute it java application and insert user data now first thing we need to have the database ready now once you in download your oracle express edition and install it in your system and get the connection you need to create a table so here we are going to use the table name account and having the parameters first name last name username password email id and mobile number so all these values we are going to simply prepare at the back end in the database like this you see the table will be created like this now once this create table is done you have to insert the values like tick range this is inserted already now that we can do it with the help of the JDBC connection now next step is the JDBC connection now you can see JDBC works on these five steps first we need to get the connection then we create the statement and then declare the result set execute the queries and display the values out of this five steps we need to get the connection here. So to get the connection, there are two steps we need to have. First, we load the driver with the help of the class dot for name. And here we are going to give the Oracle driver name. Once the loading is done, next we need to get the connection. And that is possible with the help of the driver manager class and its method get connection. Here, you need to pass Oracle URL 
that is going to be mentioned and it's a string which is mentioned some values we'll show you in the demonstration and the username and password of your oracle database now once this is done in this code what we are going to do we are going to simply get the values from the user and inserting in the database with the help of the jdbc so jdbc are going to execute this query is execute the queries this is the fourth step once the connection is done next is the statement you can see creating the statement and once the creating a statement is done next we need to have the execute query now this is the query and we need to execute over here you can see now once the inserting is done all we need to make sure the verification part you need to make sure this ID is not already exist. If it is already exist, it will pop up the message with the alert or message box, something like this. This is already exist or this is invalid. Something you can pass the message. Now, here is the URL. You can see JDBC Oracle thin localhost express edition. So this is the URL which is passing here in the argument of get connection method. So once this is done, JDBC will get the values. Now, here is the swing. If you see here, this is panel. First, we think need to have the panel. It has a title. Now, panel has label. This is called label. J label new. You can create your label. Now, once the label is done, you need to have the text box. This is text box where the user will enter the name and all the values. Message box will pop up the message that uh, your ID is not correct or it is empty. You have to write something and it is invalid. So similarly, there is some pop up message. We need to mention it for the valid verification or validation of values. Now button for the submission of the form. So these types of application, you can create it and uh, use it in offline application where uh, any kind of database management system can be maintained. Uh, it can be used in your inventory management system or you can use it in uh, uh, kind of uh, commercial purposes or commercial applications, uh, library management system to check the, check the book availability or uh, enter the values of the uh, visitors in libraries and many other systems. Now let's take a look at the demonstration. This is my database run SQL command prompt and here I'm going to use my database connection now this is my connection is done okay now first thing we need to create a table and uh, that creating the table I have already done so I can show you this will be my table first name last name username password email id and mobile number so how will you create it the script will be will go like this create table account and your first name varcat 220 not null in case of valid verification similarly last name varcat 2 20 or you can give a bigger size of it not no and username where can to 20 and e password where can to 20 email let's have email id as 100 because sometimes it is not enough and it will create an error so let's have 100 email ID characters and for mobile where can type to you cannot have mobile as a number because it's not a number it's a string so this is how we can create your table now once this is done the table is created we need to have the JDBC connection done so if you see this piece of code here we are using the panel first thing we need to create a panel using the swing API now first we need to have the back we had the back end now next we need to program our front end so give a user interface for your values from the use where the user will enter it and you will connect it with the help of jdbc in the next step so now let's have the graphical user interface 
first we need to have the panel next we need to have the text field for first name last name email id username password field password field is a different field because it has to hide the string so we need to mention it in a different string now j password field and uh, j text field will be in a mobile and we need a button uh, make it in an object the private object now once this is done in the main we just call the class name user registration frame and the frame will be visible through and like this it's gonna work now let's take a look at the constructor because our entire code is written in the construct inside the constructor we're just calling it now first thing we need to have the image uh, icon and you can have it uh, of your own just uh, you need to pass the path to have an icon in your application now exit on close that means your frame can be exit on close so you can mention it some values here some size resizable is for you can have a true set title you can giving the title content pn and give the panel creating an object for panel and once the panel create you know, the object is created we can just give the specification of your border and design accordingly now label will have the object in the specific location so this is going to be the location the coordinates of this label and this will be the properties like times new roman type of style and the plane and the size will be this much you can increase it accordingly similarly we have more labels like this first name and uh, for all kind of very uh, values we are going to get from the user with those coordinates you see these are the coordinates the location where it is going to be visible now similarly you have email address and uh, for uh, first name and the last name you are going to set the values now once uh, the getting values is done and uh, all entire front end programming is done next step is we need to have the action listener implemented here so action listener basically perform the values and process it so once the user entered we need to get the values in here get text and put it in this variable now these variable exist those values which user entered once this is done these variables can be insert in the database but we need to connect our graphical user interface to the database with the help of jdbc that is going to implement here with the help of oracle url is a variable which contains the oracle url your uh, driver now first thing to connection database we need to load the driver here class dot for name class dot for name is a method for name is a method of a class class which is going to load the driver or any uh, specific uh, class which you mentioning in the u uh, string any driver it's not only for the oracle driver it it could be any driver which is going to be loaded at the run time so this is what the uh, property of for name method which is very important it's not only for database it's for any driver you can load it at the run time now once this is done next step we need to connect for connection all you need to create an object of connection and assign it an equals to driver manager and get the connection here we pass the arguments of oracle url which we have mentioned it here this is the url for oracle driver and these are the username and password you can mention it at your end next we need to create the query so insert into table name values and we need to compose this pre compose your query like this all you need to just pass the variable which you have getting from here you see this is from the username which user entered you see the first name basically coming from all the way from here this is the j text field where we entered the user entered the values in the pan panel and uh, there we add the first name variable and this variable is entered here 
So this is how it process. First we get it from the front end user and then we insert it in the database with the help of the JDBC. Now here the another point is very important to understand is the verification of the value user enter. If it is already exit, it has to pop up the message and mention that this is already exist. In case if it says that it is invalid, it can pass the value. So those things you can take care with the help of the uh, try and catch exception or if and else. Rest in the end, we need to close the connection and you will see your data inserted in the database. Now let's take a look at the execution. Since it's a Java application, offline Java application, so all you need to execute it in Java console. So this is my execution. You can see this is the icon which I have mentioned in the path. And uh, this is the title. This is label. Now first name suppose I mentioned as Java. Swing. Uh, JDBC. Anything. Last name of Oracle. Anything some random email address tech ranch 2019 at gmail.com mobile number 9911223344 so we have to make it as a 10 numbers so if you see some at welcome java your account is created now this is how we can and if you see the database, the database, you can see the values. You see, you can add more features like sending an email about your confirmation or for use registration. You can add that, but that will require the server deployment. Because we have to send an email that has to be online. This is completely offline. It is not dependent on anything. You can just execute it. Now another point. Um, now let's take a look one more point here and execute once again. I wanted to show you is suppose I left it alone and I type something and something and something random enter a valid mobile number you see these types of conditions need to be checked at the time of the registration because mobile number is invalid this is what the demonstration of swing jdbc application you can add more features in this type of application have more information adding the you can integrate the calendar to get the date of birth you can include a salary or values or radio buttons to get the value from the user the gender or more information collected from the user yeah. and these types of applications are mostly used in commercial purposes like any kind of inventory management systems library management systems school management systems so this is how they create this complete application Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting videos. In case of any questions and assistance needed and source code, you can contact us on techranch2019 at gmail.com. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.